What's up guys? This is Sudden 37 Drop. And welcome to the Dark Pictures game. One of my favorites. I'm playing this game with a new updates. The updates that have been released a couple days ago. Minus Joe, the dark side, dark side mark. Post World War II. All righty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. <coughs> Whoa! Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey. Give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? You do it, Pai. Yo, he won ma. Tell me about my son, or will I be rich? Curious. Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh... Is he gonna grow up all right? Things gonna work out for him?
看这张牌，告诉我，你看到了什么？Looks like a fish. Your wealth can come from any direction. But when such a wind blows, death and evil will surely come along with it. Death? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh yeah? Think you got the stuff? You can be better than your friends. Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter? I'm gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. Look at that. It's all different now. Bam. <coughs> yeah. Good. <coughs> oh. I you were going to say you could Brian. Miss me. Miss me. Miss me again. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Looks like I'm the karate master now. Wouldn't you know it? Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. Uh-oh. Don't, don't get on the ship. It's a bad omen. Hold him in two! Cargo hold two!
mist comes out of the crates, consuming the entire ship. And the ship is never seen again. Like the doctor was high and died from a heart attack. Got the key. Charlie, how's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on up there? I heard aircraft oh, I... and gunfire. Me too. And there was a a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Find out what's happening on the ship. It's a kid. It's a kitty kitty kid. Hey, Charlie, help. Dead. Fuck no. Yeah, you said they're dead. Fubar and that son. It's like Whoa. He's been shot dead.
Looks like people God end up damn. shooting each Another other. Stiff? Who's the lucky winner? Oh, damn it. Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. Well, stiff as a board. Looks petrified and dead. hallucinating. Joe can see it, but Charlie can't. Charlie, the bodies. get over here! Five bodies everywhere. Wow. They died from heart attacks. And they were shot dead. Charlie, he's... Oh my god. Oh god, no. Charlie! Got a knife. Shoot him. Dead. Never be found. Nobody survived the night. Wow. 
Won't you spare me over till another And welcome to my repository. <laughs> I am the curator. The curator of stories. Stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death. Stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions, or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken, or whatever mess you've made.
Now playing as Brad. That hasn't changed. The characters introduced me in this game hasn't changed at all. We got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. It's... It's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. Huh. Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Dude, you know I'm not, like, the best around new people. Whatever. Just shut up. You gotta loosen up. Oh, come on. Just say yeah to everything on this trip. Wait. Trust me. I want you to have a good time. Okay, well, what if somebody asked me to do something stupid, like run around naked or something? Metaphorically. Just go with it. <laughs> All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... We knew medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Trades updated. Innocent. Hey! So, uh. Here comes the first bearing choice. Yeah, what? Just, uh. Kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. Is about finishing changed? med school? Hmm. No, but. It's just. Kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Go for your gut, buddy. Go with All your the gut. Heart. If it's right, you'll know. Fair enough, Dave. Hey! Julia. And Conrad. <coughs> Let's take a look at the bearings. Proposal. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey. What's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! <laughs> I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about, about yeah. you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Missing. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Ah, uh, TBH? I kind of have a thing with uh, seasickness. Brad. Bradley. Ray Brattleberry. There's only one way to get your sea legs, and it comes in a can. Don't give me that, Conrad. Just one. Uh, fine. One. That's all. Only one. 
that's enough. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right on, Radical. I like the cut of your ship. Uh, it's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. Gonna be gentle. Uh... He's more insecure. More quiet. Oh. I can't move his head. <clears throat> I'm using the right thumbstick and I can't move his head. Shame. That's a shame. <laughs> Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? There's Fliss. The smart and beautiful Fliss. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Selling, I'm buying. Oh. Oops. Huh. You're alright, Connie. Connie just fell. That's it, get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh boy. See those hot pits. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. I was so sure it would be here. But yeah, I mean... What are the odds we're really gonna find a needle in a haystack? I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, the kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Fliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, yeah, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Who cares? Look. For all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. Oh, I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Hmm. I don't think it might be a way in. This doesn't look kosher. The idea looks fake. Uh. 
Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? How experienced are you? <laughs> Excuse me? I mean, I know what your fake credentials say, but I don't know the truth. <laughs> Were you snooping around? You don't trust me? <laughs> the fake certificate is only temporary. My old one expired and renewal out here is like extortion, okay? This dive is okay. supposed to bankroll the fees. But that's not exactly following the rules now, is it? So I guess that applies to all of us. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. I get it. How much? Fine. I get it. How much? How much what? How much money will it take for you to stop breathing down her necks? You... <laughs> this is not about the money. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. And that will not get your ass caught. To do anything not to get your ass caught. And then tell them that you got a fake ID. You know how to use that? Uh, nope. No, not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. I've got to talk to Conrad. I'll have a look at the picture later in the next chapters. What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. You should know Jeez, better. Jeez, man. You should know how to handle your liquor. Lay off. <laughs> I'm just trying to bond with Conrad, like you said. My guzzling bruise? Come on. Okay, okay. You go hit the high seas. Ugh, I'll be up when I'm good. See you later, Bradical. Selfish. Yes, Alex. You selfish. Alex has been selfish. I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. It's only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. A perfect book, Shroud of Innocence. This is a little hope Easter egg. Can I have a There's look, a Conrad? In the tail. Take a look. Thank you. Hey guys, tanks are ready. Tanks a lot. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. 
Looking for a first mate captain. Let us know. You just don't give up, do you? Are those two going in or what? Look, I know the wait is interminable, but soon. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha ha. Right, you ever kids. have to use one? Good On a go. shark? Nope. Just remember the rules, please. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. It's loading. That's also loading too. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. Go Fliss. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. <laughs> Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client. Is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Let Fliss get drunk. Sure. Why not? Let her get drunk. Have a good beer with Connie. There we go. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan? You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. That's very kind of you. That's very kind of you to offer. I suppose we could have that conversation. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Cotton. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp.
Hey, it's your vacation. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. What got you into World War II? Just stuff I read about in school. Then I found out my grandpa was in the Navy, got lots of medals. I wanted to understand what he'd been through. Got me hooked. I just hope they respect the site. People died there. They understand the rules. They get it. But I'm not sure how much that actually matters to Julia. Julia's got Alex wrapped around her little finger. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. I'll have a look at it in the next chapter when I play as Julia. Um, wow. Bliss could walk faster than ever. Hey there, how's it hanging? You can monitor the dive. You can dive. monitor the dive while I do some boat maintenance. Not a problem, Bob. So are you beached? So are you beached? Like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. In private? Private? Just just chatting it up, you and I, in the old conversational intercourse. <laughs> Duke of Milan, 20 miles north of the coast, over. Reading you. How can we help? Over. I'm going to report the wreck. Inquiring about guidelines regarding an unidentified sunken wreck in this vicinity, over. Any tampering with a wreck, identified or not, will result in prison or fine or both, over. <laughs> Thank you, over. Duke of Milan. Duke of Milan, are you reporting a finding? What is the nature of this call, over? I have to tell them everything. My clients are Nothing to report, except that my clients are overprivileged and overpacked, out for adventure and without a clue. Putain de merde, qu'est-ce qu'on fait? Over. Sounds like you got your hands full. Over. Well. <laughs> well. Cunning. Bliss got cunning traits. Oh, look at that. Oh. Comrade doesn't appreciate it. He must have overheard the conversation. Well, Guess I'm there, in Captain. trouble. Can I do something for you? I can think of a few things. Oh, do tell. Mm, maybe later. If you stay on my good side. Here comes the What's guys. That, that is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. 
how should we handle this? Be quiet and let me handle it. Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? You gotta keep back, we got divers in the water! Oh, what's weird? I don't... I didn't get to go under the water with Julia and Alex. That's a shame. Hey, we got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. All right, you uh -oh. guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. <laughs> Uh-oh. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. On the rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. first here we go can I just take a second to say holy shit Alex we did it I mean can you believe it it's a dream come true <laughs> let's not waste any time not exploring go 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 Devil in the deep. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Bullet Secrets holes, found. All down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe is pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Move <laughs> a little edge lord.
Thank you, Alex. You do something stupid down here? That's it. One chance, you get that. I know what I'm doing, okay? I don't need a lifeguard. <laughs> this says it was a rescue plane. Launched from a US base. They were on their way to help out a ship. things they knew they were goners uh you hear that let's check it out very an update Co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. I'll be right back, it w and I won't be long, I promise. I'm sure it'll load.
I'm back. Whoa. We gotta get out of here now. Wow, that's brave, Julia. Uh, oh, okay. I thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh-huh. Julia, will you marry me? <gasps> We almost died. I'm astounded. I, I. Oh crap. Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I, I just. I mean, we almost just died. Julia, <laughs> I'm serious. Yes. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes, yes. I'll marry the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> Handsome hero, you want to get on with our escape from the uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other come from? The fishermen's. Wait, Julia, we gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my brother's up there. Julia, this is crazy. You just gotta wait a few seconds. <laughs> oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now, go, go! Hey, what the hell is They're going alive. on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. Look what Connie did to the crew. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, <laughs> looked like the whole boat was lit up. So, why are you paying the ocean? A group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. Well, they got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give it to them. You're an asshole. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys. Can you all just shut up for like one second? Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. That was fun. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well.
So we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, <laughs> he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. <laughs> yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? It does have a nice ring. Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel. But now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans, eventually. Now you're speaking my language. I'm taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Of course I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. So you can walk all over me? Like a rug so you can walk all over me? Where did everyone go? <laughs> there was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Coast Guard! <gasps> the Coast Guard are here! What? Everybody flush their meth! We gotta get rid of all this meth! We can't let them take us alive! What the fuck? <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> Literally. Seriously, you can't fuck around like that, Julia. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. I'll take a look at it. How's it feel to be a man post proposal? Relieving, honestly. Been carrying that around for a while. Here it is. Never thought you were the settling type. I'm proud of you, bro. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro, bro. Bro. Wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. Uh, one, I'm not that sappy. And two, I was talking about med school. Still, we're over the top, bro. So, we're going again tomorrow? Uh, yeah. Seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. Don't sweat it. I'll go down with you and we'll be fine. Hey, got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. <laughs> got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. 
Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. <laughs> we could all... Uh-oh. Use a good show. And Julia is skeptical. I don't know if Brad is really the scary type, you know? Well, don't get too confident. This is a pretty scary story. <laughs> Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Shh. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents sure are shop, right Conrad. Now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and insists her parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. Then, it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. Changing the murder weapon? Wait a minute, are you changing the murder weapon? I thought this was a true story. There's a lot of blood, a lot of carnage. Who's to say how it was done? Okay, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here, in the closet. Ha, the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside, but he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer, and he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. Gross. Hey, ol. Super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Oh, come on, that wasn't scary. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. 
We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue, regulatory institutional protocol, subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddies. And I'm out. How many are there? Three, uh, I think. Just three. Julia, you okay? I think so. Is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? I don't even wanna know. I wanna get out of here. I'm in a lot of danger. Back for you later. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. 
You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Jesus, Conrad. Seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Uh, did you see my brother? Yeah. He's hiding. He's okay. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take him by surprise. Okay. They're coming. There's the curator. Fuck! Motherfuckers! There's the curator. He's the warning Julia, that someone might die in this chapter. Happened. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. <sighs> Julia, it's okay. It's okay. to wait and see what they want to do with us. can get on their boat. Get some help. These fuckers need to pay. We gotta take them down. They can try to fight back, but if we had the gun, they'd be forced to surrender. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I climb out the window, climb around the side, and hit them from there. We'll take them from the other side. Don't leave us here, okay? Okay, let's do it. One, two, 
other side, we'll hit them together. Right. Oh, gotta keep calm again. Was a chance. Grab the knife. Drop it, Buster. Conrad! Easy. Fliss, I got this. Let me handle it. Yeah. Think about what you're doing, boy. Get to the boat. Go to hell. Get help. Go. This kid's trying to kill me also. Nope. It's because I let it happen. No! Alex, this is crazy. Get off our boat. Ha! Your boat? I'm the captain now. They've got us. Don't worry. I plan on keeping Conrad with everybody until the end. Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use yep. it if you have to. Yep. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de cons! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Wow. I can't believe he threatened a lady like that. Damn. Olsen! Come here! Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo? Wow. escaped when you had the chance. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up! There is no harm in just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, <gasps> they travel in the same waters. She's a captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian goal. They're in cahoots. How dare you? Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? We're <laughs> all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us up. asshole. What a cork in it. Whoa. Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Hey, 
Leave her alone. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. And there'll be consequences. Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. I'm gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance, not used to a little weather freaking you out. Yes. Serious problems. My, uh, my charter's been a little difficult. Not exactly going as planned. We're starting to have some serious problems with... Hey! Hi! Rude. You've been very rude. Stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? <laughs> okay, then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress... I presume you're eager to get back to your story, but here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> hm. 
probably shouldn't have said that. Okay, so that's all for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll continue playing this game. This is Sudden 37 Drops signing out. Bye, guys.